Welcome back. Uh, we have our NetBank segment now. And you know, NetBank always prides itself at offering a plethora of ways of helping you manage your money differently. And uh, as they say it, you see money differently. Let's talk to Saneliso Ndando. He is an electronics banking specialist. Uh, welcome to the program. Really happy to have you on the program today. Electronics, uh, offering something really, really that has made banking more convenient and easier for, for, for bankers. I would uh, argue you have lived uh, through all the times. <laughs> Not saying that you're old, Mr. Ndando, but uh, <laughs> I, I would make a case that uh, you've seen banking when it was still traditional uh, before it became electronic and digital. That is true. How do you help Emaswati gain access to banking services through the solutions that you have, particularly electronically? All right, um, two, two solutions that we have now that we are very proud of and that we're very happy to discuss are our Send Money and our NetBank Mobi Money Wallet okay. solutions. Yeah, Those are two very similar uh, solutions, but they do differ, um, and the difference between them is quite, is quite extensive. Let's get into the difference. I mean, let's break it down. If you, you put it rightly, there's a difference between Mobi Money Wallet and Send Money. What yes, are the sir. differences? All right. So in essence, both of them, or both solutions, I'll start with the, with the Send Money. Both um, of the solutions offer you uh, the ability to send cash, okay. uh, to receive cash, mm -hmm. and to withdraw cash. So speaking on Send Money, that would be what I would say is quite specific to that product. Um, but when it comes to, to Mobi Money, which is now the difference between the two, is that you have additional features such as, um, like the name says, Mobi Money Wallet. You are able now to store your money. You are also able to make uh, purchases. We call them prepaid purchases. So that's buying your prepaid um, MTN airtime um, and electricity. Mm. I want to get into, if, if you, you, you're talking about the benefits of Mobi Money versus Send Money. Yes, Mobi Money creates a wallet so funds do not return after 48 hours. Very true. Right. How do I register for Mobi Money? I want to have all these you know, benefits that come with Mobi Money. All right. So you would simply dial our USSD string. Um, and that sounds very complicated, but it's not. It's, it's <laughs> the number that you would dial on your phone yeah. to access, um, I'll say, that channel. And okay. um, that number is star 140 star 41 hash. Okay. Um, if you've never registered on that particular number before, it will then require you to um, select the option to say you want to register for the Mobi Money Wallet. Um, then it will basically walk you through the, the steps. It will require, for example, your name and your surname. That's your first name, your second name. Um, it will require your uh, some form of yes, some form of identification okay. being your ID or your it's passport. Always essential. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then do I do I does it allow me to create my own PIN because I, I want my money to be safe to and be it safe. Should only be accessible by me. Very true, sir. So the, the last uh, op, the last thing that you do as you're registering is it will it will prompt you to create a five digit PIN. Okay. It will then ask you to confirm that five digit PIN, and it will then will then send you an SMS to say you have successfully um, registered. Um, yeah. If you have, if not, if there's been maybe a, a slight problem, yeah. you'll also get something that notifies you of that. Mr. Ndando, I'm not a wealthy man, right? But <laughs> I've, I've, I've had my fair share of experiences with a lot of banks. Mm. And what I've realized is that when it comes to prompts, like your star 140, star 41 hash, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. not saying that this is the case with this one. Normally, I would be required to have airtime to really be able to access, you know, the services that are offered in there. Do I have to have airtime to access this particular for me to register? Short question is no, sir. Okay. We are trying to move into a space where, That's great. like we're saying, we want to go digital. So we want you to, to you know, be able to access um, that particular thing that you need to access without having those particular, you know, those things that you need. For example, if you needed to buy airtime. Mm -hmm. and you don't have airtime. It wouldn't yeah. make sense for us to say, no, but you need airtime up front yeah. so you can log on to get airtime. So the short answer is no. And do I have to be a net bank client or I can be somebody that was with another bank or I can be somebody that isn't registered with any bank for me to access this service? As long as you have um, a valid um, Eswatini number, phone okay. number or cell number, um, and you have a valid form of identification, you are most welcome to use, and we encourage you uh, to use our, our... And I have both numbers, so can I, can I, but I only have one identity number. You, exactly, okay. exactly. So you can, at the moment, only register on one number. No, it only makes sense. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. So now, besides storing money, what else can I do with my mobile money wallet? 
Okay, like we have, I had started speaking on, yeah. um, you have the, the ability of buying prepaids. So okay. you can buy your airtime, you can buy your data, and you can buy electricity. Hmm. It's very interesting. Am I able to view my statement? Okay. Yes, you can view. Um, this This would be now your Mobi money statement, meaning uh, okay. um, you've transacted over a few months. Now you, you're like, hey man, yeah. there's money that I thought came in or that went out. What happened? You can check um, a statement for that. Yeah, that makes sense because I need to you know, track how I use how my Mobi money. Yeah. Yeah. And then can I apply then for a net bank account or you know, change my Mobi money PIN? Come, your questions are on point. Right. Um, <laughs> yes, you can also um, you can also uh, change your pin right. um, on there uh, on the star one forty star forty one hash, and you can also apply. This is a new feature that we've added. You can also apply for an account, um, an actual um, transacting account with us from from the yeah. mobile money channel. And then, I think this is an important question. How long can I store funds in my wallet? For as long as you need to store them. Okay. And uh, the reason I'm, I'm a, a little hesitant with that is uh, what um, we need, what I need to make very clear is this is not a savings option. Right? Right. So you, you'll never get to a point where you've now gained interest because right, you've had right. money <laughs> in there for over a month. Yeah. It, it, it's that thing to say, look, I'm doing a, a few peace jobs here and there. Um, I want to, ha to have access to my money when I need it. So let them send it somewhere where it's not going to then return or it's not going to get um, used in any way. Right. And then when I then want to have access to that money, I can. Yeah, because my, 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 my thing is if I don't use my mobile money wallet for a certain period of time, say maybe for three months, do I then get charged for that? <laughs> no, there's absolutely, oh, wow, okay. there's absolutely no... Um, transacting account charges. So we won't charge you to say, oh no, you have access to the wallet, yeah. so let's, uh, th there's a monthly fee or a yearly fee. No, we don't have um, any charges associated with that. Yeah. Mobi Money Wallet. You know, I, I, before getting into you know, my send money questions, I just want us to really describe the idea behind Mobi Money Wallet. You know, traditionally I have my own wallet, like my physical mm -hmm, wallet mm -hmm. that I go around with. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not so convenient because it's easy for me to forget it. But funny thing is I never forget my phone. I may forget <laughs> my wallet, but I never forget my phone because I want to use my phone as soon as I hop into the car mm. or to the kumbi. Mm. You know, i always on my phone, just constantly on my phone. Everything is electronic and mm. digital nowadays. Mm. What really prompted this kind of innovation? Could it be that? I think that, that was one of the, the major reasons. Right? We, we also looked at, um, like I said, this product itself has quite a few advantages. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we looked at how we can make our client experience a better one. Okay. Um, we are moving into, into a space where, like you're saying, everything is almost, you can do everything you want on your phone. Um, so we're moving into a space where we're saying, okay, um, people will now not necessarily want to deal with physical physical cash. Yeah. Um, coming from COVID where, you know, you were worried about if you receive, you know, um, physical cash yeah. from someone. So we're moving from a space um, where we're saying we were dealing almost primarily in physical cash to a space where we're saying I should be able to send you lunch money without seeing you physically. Mm. I should be able to make that payment. Um, good thing. But I should be able to make that payment. Um, yeah. <laughs> having to travel all the way there to give them physical cash doesn't make sense. Walking into a branch to deposit money doesn't make sense. But if I have money in my account, and this is now maybe speaking more to someone who is a net bank yeah. uh, client, if I have money in my account, I can log on to one of our digital channels and right, send right, money right. through to someone else. Right, Mr. Dando, I think uh, that calls for me in a, a moment really for us generational Zs and millennials to really, really take a moment there and say, what a joy it is to be born around a time okay. where we find electronic banking as an existing thing. Because if you think about it, traditional banking was daunting and uh, a lot of hard work, if you think about it. Kibeli Kum, Luhambe, your transactor, when it don't get now you can just do it on your phone. And NetBank really has uh, that service at the tip of your fingertips, really. And, uh, you know, was just talking to Mr. Ndando about Mobi Money Wallet service. We want to talk about the Send Money platform after the break. Don't go anywhere.